Well, it's not flying away, so we don't have to be too quick about it, but what do you think it is? A great mystery, great mystery. Ah, oh, it's a chicken. It isn't a chicken, I'm joking. Um, I, no, I wouldn't say this was worth recording necessarily here, Martin. Uh, it's not doing an astounding array of different things. That everyone looks like a Wahlberg's eagle to me, but it is not pushing out its little crest. Is that as close in as you can get there? And can you just brighten it slightly? Let's just see if we can't. I mean, the only other thing it could be is a step eagle. It's not lesser spotted because the leg, no, it's definitely Wahlberg's. It's a Wahlberg's eagle. Oh, is it? So it's not a lesser spotted eagle because its its legs are feathered thickly all the way to the base. They're not stove piped or um, skinny jeans, as would probably be much more appropriate these days. Martin, you're from Cape Town. Do you wear skinny jeans? Not at all. Oh, good. That's a relief. Eggsy, of course, is a fan of the skinny jean pant. Uh, that's got nothing to do with this bird. And then, if it was a step, uh, a tawny eagle, well, then it would have a much darker back and lighter front. But a Wahlberg's has normally got that little crest sticking up from the back. So maybe it's just a smallish step eagle. Maybe I'm misguessing that size. No, it can't be a step eagle. No, it's too small. Does its gape extend beyond the back of its eye? I think it does. So the gape, of course, are its basically its yellow lips, if you like. And do they extend more than halfway behind its eye? That would make it a step eagle immediately. Yeah, I think it does. I'm going to go with Step Eagle, everyone. I'm more than happy to take criticism on that because it looks too small to me, but I don't think it's a Wahlberg's. And if it is a Step Eagle, it'll be just about to go home. Step Eagle, of course, a fearsomely large eagle, uh, but is not, in fact, a very terrifying eagle in that it is an eater largely of termites, which I've always found quite interesting. Anybody else have anything to say about whether or not that could or couldn't be a steppe eagle or a Wahlberg's eagle? Let me go know. Hashtag Safari Live. Now, some of you said a tawny eagle. I really don't think it is. I'm, I'm prepared to go around it and have a look. If you look at a tawny eagle from the back, its wings on its shoulders here are normally darker than the front, quite a lot darker. And unless that is a very dark form tawny, I just don't think it is. Also, if you look at its back, there'll be a distinctive V. So let's, I mean, there's a little road here. We'll do a little turn around there and see if we can't have a look at it from the back. A couple of impala and wildebeest around this area. None of them looking like they're about to be savaged by predators. There, let's have a look at it again now. I mean, I must say its wings now do look darker behind than they are in front. Oh, gosh. I mean, this is a bit embarrassing. I would have thought by now the brown eagles were completely, obviously easy to me. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, it could be a dark form tawny. Dark form tawny is just over two feet tall. A step eagle, well, another three inches taller than that. Hmm. Gosh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with step eagle, chaps. No, Bobby, it's definitely not a kite, and we know that because it doesn't, it's got feathers all the way down to the bottom of its feet. So its legs are covered in feathers, which immediately makes it an eagle. Ah, 
I'm gonna go with Step Eagle. And then we're going to move on before we get any closer and before I can contradict myself again.